Hey everyone, welcome to Lucy's Adventures, and I have Eggius with me today. Look at this, look at this crazy cat. He's been uh, he's been super rambunctious today. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe because it's been snowing. I think he maybe senses the change in the weather. It's like, what's going on? <clears throat> kind of like how most people are, um, because it's snowing in the middle of November, but. That's actually not new for us, those uh, wildlings who live beyond the, uh, beyond the wall. Um, it's actually quite common for us to uh, see snow in November. So that's happening today. Also, uh, if you have noticed, I was supposed to play Zelda Breath of the Wild today, but I'm really addicted to Sims. Hello, Akius. Can I help you? Is there something I can help you with? Is there... You're just gonna sniff my headset cord. Okay, cool. Um, so I've been kind of addicted to The Sims 4 now since I started playing again because they released cats and dogs. So we're gonna play that because it's fun and also awesome. So that's what we're gonna do today. I, uh, I've been uh, busy building a new house in The Sims. Yes, Eki, yes, yes, yes. Um, I've been busy building a house in The Sims 4, um, for, like, a family and pets. Possibly a cat and a dog, possibly two dogs, possibly more cats, I don't know. It's got everything. So, I've been doing that, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I started out thinking I was going to build a starter house, um, for pets, but... It actually ended up being a much larger house than just a starter house. So we're going to do a big house first, and then maybe we'll scale back and do a starter house. Why is it that you need attention right now when I go live streaming? You know, for the past many weeks when I've been streaming, you've just been laying in your bed and sleeping, and now all of a sudden you're on top of my mouse. So what's happening? What's happening there? What do we... What are we doing with that? He's not going to answer. He, uh, he just doesn't want to talk to me right now. Hmm? He's purring, though, so that's adorable. Also, my Sims game is taking a really long time to load. It makes me sad. Alright, let's see if we can get our mouse to a place where we can use it. Possibly. Aegis is not making this easy. Aegis. Aegis. Oh. Great. Crashed. So. I don't know why I'm having such a problem with The Sims. It's kind of annoying. Let's try this again. Let's try this again, see if it works. And I'll just pet Aegeus to make him happy. That's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna pet the cat. I'm just gonna pet the cat. That's a good stream, right? Just my face petting a cat. That's it, that's all we're gonna do today. Can you not lick your feet right now? In front of my mouse? That'd be great. Ridiculous animal. So it's loading, hopefully, but it's not showing up here. I don't know why. Because of mysterious problems with game things. I'm also not hearing the game. Why? Why do you do this to me? Why, computer? Why? It's bad enough my internet is potato. We don't need a computer this potato, too. 
right, well, it's loading for me. It's just not showing you guys the game. And also, there's no sound. Oh, you know what? I think I did that. I think that was me. That was me. I did that to myself. <laughs> I was watching um, a TV show on Netflix and also playing The Sims, so I muted The Sims. There we go. Now the things are working. Just kidding, they've always been working. Everything's always worked. Hey, Miss Candela, welcome to the stream. Eggies, your butt is making this extremely hard for me. Not that you care, but it is. What do you think? Maybe could we just not do this butt thing? He's giving me evil eye. He's not interested in what I, what I have to do. Show me your kitties. He's right here. His name is Eggies, and he's a jerk. Oh, Eggie. Yeah. He's even a jerk in The Sims 4, too. I made him mischievous, which is so true. So true to real life. And he, like, meows constantly, because I also made him talkative, which is exactly like Eggies in real life as well. Okay, so this is what I got going on already. Also... Please let me know if the game sound is too loud. I feel like it might be a little bit, so let's just turn it down a little bit. My baby is not a jerk, just very, very demanding. Mine's a jerk. Very much a jerk. He does he does naughty things constantly. Um, and he enjoys it as well. So this is the house that I've been working on. Um, kind of got like a main shape flushed out. That's kind of like the hardest thing for me is deciding on like colors and like shapes and windows and things. So as soon as I get that done, the inside goes pretty quickly because I like decorating a lot. Um, so this is the first floor. We've got a cute dining area, um, sort of like a homey kitchen. We've got some food down for the pets. Um, kind of give you the whole the whole idea of it. And we've got some really big windows and some paintings. And then this is like our living area, li living space. I definitely wanted to use this couch because it's new for the Cats and Dogs expansion. And it fits perfectly in the little nook, um, the little like bay window, like almost an octagon like nook area. So um, I was really excited to use the couch. And we've got like a little coffee table and um, a fireplace and pictures and a dog bed and a cat scratcher and a bookshelf and then we've also got this little half bathroom um, with a cat box and like a tiny little like computer slash office space here um, it's pretty bare but I figure you're not gonna see a lot of this stuff anyway so just left it in there cool couch you were lucky with that one yeah no that like I love stuff like that. Like I love like I love fitting things into into little spaces, and they've added a lot of that stuff um, in this expansion. Um, they also added a lot of like corner shelves and cupboards and things like this one. That's new too. Um, so I really like those things, like things that you can kind of just like tuck in non-square spaces that actually add a lot to the visual appeal of the room. You're lacking a backyard. Yeah, I don't, so, I've got like side yards, if that's the thing. I've got side yard, it's kind of like side boob. It's not exactly boob, but it's like a little boob. So, it's, it's some yard, but not a lot of yard. Um, so I'm gonna flush that out with like some toys for kids and maybe some like pet stuff. Um, I just haven't gotten that far yet. I usually I try to I try to do the outside last because if not, I get really crazy placing like little trees and rocks and things. Um, and it can take me forever. 
It's almost like Ikea. The stuff is so fit to fill space, otherwise not used. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I wish I lived closer to an Ikea. I don't think I live even remotely close to any Ikea. So this is what I've got for the upstairs um, right now. I've got like this little, like, like kind of like a little reading nook. I really think it's cute. Um, and like a little pet area again, uh, maybe for a cat. Um, got some pictures up. And then I've got this like shared bathroom. Um, I love that they added like little laundry baskets. Love that feature. I think it's absolutely adorable. Um, I didn't go crazy with the bathroom like I normally do. I just added some like towels and things like that. I need to add a light in there. But again, this is still a work in progress. So we're gonna play. We're gonna play around with it. I'm starting to uh, add so many expansions that it's my computer is having like struggling to load it all, which is sad because when I first got The Sims 4, it loaded like crazy fast. Laundry basket, that's so funny. I love it. I love those little details that make a house look like, not like it's, it's from a magazine, but actually like there might be people living in it. I love that crazy stuff. Okay, so I kinda wanna put, do I wanna do wall lights or do I wanna do like, I mean, I guess I could do that. Pretty simple, done and done. Um, so now I've got a space for like a kid's bedroom and like a master bedroom. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. So let's see, what do we wanna do? What do we wanna do? I discovered other small stuff in my ready-made bathroom. Like towels folded on the bench and shampoo and conditioner and a basket filled with small toiletries. So cool. Yeah, I think I think those are under like the clutter stuff. Um Yeah, so we've got some towels. These are shirts, but <clears throat> I think they also have like cosmetics, like perfumes and nail polishes. They have toothbrushes. Now they have these like cotton swabs and cotton balls, which I really want to put in like this really like decked out um, house at some point with like, I like having um, like master bathrooms with like tons of counter space so I can like dot all these little things around. Um, I usually use ready-made stuff. I feel lazy with building these days. I love building The Sims 4. It's just so it's just so fun and easy. Um, so there is a bath a new bathroom cabinet with the family. I think that's a family stuff pack. I don't remember, but it's got like it's got like all that stuff. It's got like toilet roll and like towels and a little basket. Stuff like that. I like this a lot. I think it's really cute. Um, so there's two bedrooms. Um, one's going to be a kid's bedroom, and I might make it a double bedroom. I'm not sure. Um, for two kids to share. Or I might... I could... I might be able to cut it in half, but that's a really small bedroom for a kid. Or two kids. Um, and I might mess up the windows if I do that too. And then this is going to be like the main, the main bedroom. Let's see. I like to use the new stuff. I like to use the new expansion stuff when it comes out. I think they'll be able to get into that. I think so. Bunk bed? I'm not sure if they have bunk beds for kids. I don't think they do. Oh my god. Race car bed!
No, I don't think they have. I don't think they have bunk beds, unfortunately. How big is your family? I don't have a family. Um, <laughs> that sounded weird. I don't have a family in mind. Um, I was thinking, um, I kind of just build these and then put them up on the gallery. I saw one. Oh, you mean yesterday? That was just me and a cat. So this this house is way too big for for just me and a cat. Me. It's like my sim me. Sim me. Sim Lucy. Um. So I mean, this could be for like a family of maybe four, as plus a cat and a dog. No one bunk. Yeah, no bunk beds. Which is sad because I really like the bunk bed idea. I think you can do it with the move objects cheat. It just looks kind of weird. Oh, you saw a bunk bed. Um, so there's ways to do it with the move objects cheat. Um, kind of. But I have all the expansion packs and I don't have a bunk bed standard. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it might not exist. I wanna see if I could, oh, I keep yawning. It's so like gray and dreary outside today is that, can I do that without, oh, I can. I may do that. I may force the kids to have just really small rooms. Um, oh, but then I can't. It was a sky bed thingy. Okay. I mean, I could put it there, but... I suppose that's not so bad. Why can't I put it there? Stupid bed. All right. Oh, I don't like that at all. I might just have to delete that and go with something different. Hey, Jinkies! Welcome! Oh, they're not going to get stuck in the doorway. That'll be fine. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like with some beds in there. But I think it'll be okay. I'm thinking that one's going to be like a toddler bed because I don't have a... To I haven't played with a toddler yet. I'm trying to find toddler stuff, but... They didn't add a bed for toddler? What? What? Alright. You're too young to have a toddler. Me? I'm actually not. I know it seems weird, but I'm much older than people think I am. If you take what age you think I am and add 10 years, you're probably closer. Okay, so... So the only one I see that's a toddler bed is this one. Over there at the end? All right. 28 then um that's closer but still still not quite there okay so these are the toddler beds we found them finally oh, that's that's adorable 
Lol, okay. <laughs> Do they have like toy boxes and stuff in here? For kids? Do they even have toy boxes anymore? Oh, storage probably. I'll just leave it there. Okay, that's good. Let's give them a cute little rug. It's like too much orange though. Um. We could do dinosaurs. Or ladybugs. I like ladybugs. What else is going on other than gaming? Um, lots of stuff is actually going on in my life right now. I am, um, so I, I'm not sure if you guys, if you, if you know, probably not. I said it on my stream the other day, but it was really quick and in passing, sort of. Um, yeah, sort of. Um, so I applied for a marketing assistant position with Standing Stone Games in Boston. I haven't heard back yet, um, but it's kind of a long shot, but I'm really hoping it works out. So, um, if that happens, I would be moving to Boston, which is scary and awesome all at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know a couple people who, uh, work for Standing Stone. Um, but, yeah, obviously there's no guarantees. But I definitely, I saw the, um, <clears throat> I saw the tweet for day, from Daybreak saying that they were hiring, and I always retweet because, you know, I like their games and I want them to get made, so if they have the right people, that'll happen. And then I saw that one of the positions was in, was for Boston, I was like, wait, Boston? Seriously? So... I live in New England, but I live about three and a half hours from Boston, north, so that's why my internet is awful as well. I need lighting. So yeah, I got my resume cover letter, all that good stuff in. Um, see what happens, I guess. kind of like a horrible light. That's fun. There we go. We'll go with that one. And then maybe a little dresser, some stuff on the walls. Good luck with that. Oh, thank you. Not a big change. Well, it is a big change for me. Um, I mean, Boston versus where I live right now would be huge, huge difference. But I, I think I'm ready for it. I think I'm ready for it, honestly. Um, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready for a change. You know what I could do? Is I could... Oh, it'll get in the way of my little cat area. No. I was thinking I could pull it out one, but I can't. That's all right. <clears throat> we'll stick a, we'll stick a, um, well, thank you. Thank you for saying good luck. I kind of, I hope it works out, but even if it doesn't, that's okay. Um, hopefully uh, it'll be like a learning experience. So I'll <clears throat> figure out what I did right, figure out what I did wrong, go from there. Um, a 
know there's cute little things I can put on top. Let's do a pony. And... Oh, I can't put it there. That's sad. I want more things to be able to be placed on top. Well, I think a bunch of toys will come out of there, so. Actually, I kind of like this one better. toddler specifically. I should have looked there. Instead of a toddler room, you need to have a music room with instrument. Are there no shelves instead of a huge dresser? Well, there are shelves. The problem is, is that I think they might need to change their kiddo, but with a toddler, it's actually not as important. So... All right, let's put the, I was gonna put a lamp on top of the dresser, but that's probably better. Um, let's see about shelves. I just don't think they can reach the shelves. probably can. That's adorable. Put the pony up there. It's good stuff. Put a ton of other stuff up there too. I've not built stuff for toddlers myself as my babies have four legs. <laughs> Same in real life. <clears throat> what else can I put up there? Um, I don't think they have much clutter stuff. I think let's go back to toys. That's better. Um... Oh, I can't put anything underneath a shelf? Lame. Butterfly make butterfly face. Oh yeah. Need a butter. Oh yeah, and what about a dinosaur? Do they have any dinosaurs? Gotta have a dinosaur. Yes, dinosaur. Gotta have a dinosaur. Also, a helicopter, because why not? And a robot. Yep, excellent. Nailed it. All right, so what else can we give them? That's way too big. 
Oh, I can put things underneath it now. so sad jinkies i'm so sorry she was 18 at least 18 that's sad just wasn't doing well <clears throat> i can understand that once they get to a certain age it's just so hard obviously we need a oh i thought this was a dinosaur Oh, this is the dinosaur. Why can't I put it in the corner? Is it because of the stupid shelf? That's because of the shelf. Nice. Excellent. Solid. Children only, toddlers only. Okay. And then, let's put some stuff on the walls. Let's do... Oh, instead of all that stuff, which is probably going to come in. Oh, whoops. What about... Do a late... Oh, what? I do it on the shelf. What? Why can't I put that stuff up there? That's ridiculous. Maybe it'll fit up there now. No, it's just not gonna go up there. It's not gonna do it. Well, then forget it. We're keeping the robot. All right, so maybe we can do... We could do some curtains. Those are a bit high. That's all right, though. We can't do those curtains. But. Let's see, what do we put on the walls? Doesn't really fit with our theme, even though it is cute. Um, let's do. Let's do. Oh, let's do some of these void critters. Aw, oh, yeah. Void critters. They look so much like Pokemon. Like, so much like Pokemon. Still have your dog. Aw. Aw. I, I don't like living without 
without any pets at all. It actually makes me really sad. I just need something in my life to take care of, I guess. Alright, I want this one looking over at the other one. Alright. Cool! Plenty of good stuff in that room. Now let's see if we can do, like, a kid's room. Um... I think... I think, let's do a little bit older child. I'm trying to keep it like super gender neutral. So you can put like either a boy or a girl in there. Well, I make a good pet. <laughs> right now I have a cat and four chinchillas. I love my fuzzy little chinchillas. Ah, uh, thanks, Jinky. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good day. Oh, they don't play nice together. It's all right, we'll do that. And then give puppy calendar and different colors that's pretty cute That's kind of fun. And then, oh, we need some carpet in there. How do you get it to fine tune like that? I hold, um, I hold alt, the alt key, the ALT key, um, and you can kind of move it a little bit, just like, yeah, just kind of place it. I don't, I don't like it when it's, um, certain things, like, um, for example, the, the toy box, um, I don't like it when it's, so if I just place it, it's like flat against this wall. Is it a mod? Nope. Standard game stuff. Um, 
you just hold the ALT key and uh, it lets you move it a little bit away from the wall. I don't know why, but it just makes me feel a little bit more, like, less like I'm snapping to a grid and more like the furniture looks a little bit more organic and more natural. Yeah, I don't, I actually don't use mods. Um, I, every once in a while I'll use like the move objects cheat, but again, that's still the game. That's still the actual game. Um, it's not like something that you download and, and run on top of or behind the Sims 4. It's just the, the game itself. The only thing with the uh, move objects cheat is you have to be really careful if it's an item that your sim interacts with that they can actually interact with it and then you don't break it by putting things on top of it or in front of it. When I uh, first got The Sims 4 and started building houses, I watched a bunch of YouTube tutorials for like Sorry, excuse me. For advanced tips on how to um, make kind of like the houses that you see the devs make, kind of like that sort of thing. And there's a lot of really cool um, stuff like that. For example, one thing that I, I learned in watching the YouTube um, videos is that um, you know how you can place these counters? Well, and I already have it. There's just like this little cog next to the colors. If you click the cog, it'll show you all of the sections of those counters. So you know how when you just organically place, it'll pick a piece for you so it'll automatically fill a corner for you if that's what, where you're trying to put it. So if you do this and, um, oh that's an island, but if you pick this and then this and then, oh actually that's a bad place to do it because but, yeah. Okay, I can't do it upstairs. But, <laughs> if you, um, if you're doing it downstairs. Here, let's do something really quick. I'm trying to find a spot on this plot of land where I can show you what I mean. There we go. Um, if you place the counters normally um, without hitting anything, it'll automatically fill in the gap for you. Um, I wish I knew what all the keys does. I don't see key configs. Hmm, I'm not sh Oh, oh, you mean like all of those shortcuts that I use, yeah. Um, but if you click the cogs, you can then select the pieces that automatically attach, so you can make a couple different like looks with them. For example, this is supposed to be like an end piece that you would never find unless you um, you grab those pieces. So you can actually make a counter that's not completely like flush against the wall if you wanted to do that. So if you do it that way, it goes flush against the wall, but. Um, and also you can pick um, like that. So you could have a counter that looks like that instead of, you know, two across rather than doing something like this. Where did you find the cog? So um, if you click on any of the counters, and you click on the, the colors, the cog is right there. And it just shows you all the pieces. And some of the counters have um, islands that you can do too. Oh, may maybe it's because I was clicked on an island. Yeah, so some of them have, um, if you click on an island rather than a counter, you can also do other pieces. So you can make something circular and it's got like little dishes on it, which I think super cool. Or you could do, um, I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can do, something like that. 
great stuff. And the other thing that has these are the um, cabinets above as well. So if you click on one of the cabinets and you click on the colors and then the cog, it'll show you all these pieces. And you can actually put um, these types of pieces in. And they'll be different for each of the counters. And so this is just the normal counter. The only thing is, is you have to be careful because you may have to line them up manually if you do it this way. Um, but some of the, the pieces of the counters have like really cool stuff in them. Like this one, which is an end piece that you'd never see, actually has stuff in it. The undo button you do is a control Z. Yes. Yep. Control Z. Or you can just hit this button here. But if you hover over it, it does show you that it's control Z. Um, and they do show you the basic um, tools, shortcuts right there on the menu. But again, it's not everything. This one has dishes in it. So yeah, that's, that's kind of like a pro, pro tip that I learned from watching YouTubers. I also do it a lot in my own, my kitchens here. So as you can see, I've picked different cabinets that I wanted to add in. And uh, you can even add in pieces like above fridges and stoves and stuff. So um, I kind of like it a lot. And if, so if, for example, I took away that one and added another short one here, you could do something like add a shelf and add more stuff and you could just keep like layering that way and it, the game actually lets you within the game you don't have to mod or anything so if I picked this then maybe I could go in and add you know um, can I put them up there it should uh, it should I should be able to this thing might be blocking me no maybe they just won't go on a shelf um, some things you can add to shelves and some things you can't. I don't like the page up and page down to change floors. Oh yeah, I can understand that being annoying. That is one thing that I would say, um if I had like five minutes to give a developer from Maxis my ideas or you know Sims 4 or whatever is add more things that you can put on shelves because I love adding shelf stuff but there's a lot of stuff that's just too big Okay, I don't think a bowl of fruit can go up there, which is fine. But these condiments can't go up there. Like, why? Why would you just have condiments sitting out on your counter? But yeah, I like shelves a lot. You can like put little pictures up if you wanted to. You can move your salt and pepper shakers up there. A little picture. Oh, it will fit. Look at that. Yeah, I like the cabinet I had there before, but for example, if you still wanted like the line of cabinets running above your stove, but you still wanted to put something back here, that's something that you could do. So I just like the, the little hidden things that they add in there for versatility. You cheated. Yes, I just undid it. <laughs> I like cheating sometimes. I also like adding like these sometimes um, because they can pre like pretend like they're closets even though they're not. So if you wanted like a really thin line closet, but it's not a closet, just something that looks like a closet, sometimes these cabinets can, can double as those as well. 
Oh, this actually has like stuff in it. That's cool. That almost looks like a fridge. So, I kind of like the little the little things that they have in here. I totally forgot what I was doing, but that's okay, because that was fun. I like sharing what little I know. <laughs> There's also some other things like um, rotating floor tiles. Uh, you can rotate your floor tiles. So if you have, oh, good example here is my, um, yeah, no problem, anytime. Uh, my steps that I have here, my floorboard that I had here, the standard way that they like to do it is this way. That's the way it gives you. And to me personally, that looks horrible. But if you just rotate it, then it's like a straight across. So it looks like stairs again, or at least like kind of matches the color of the stairs a little bit. Um, so you can also rotate these. So instead of going this way, you could do them this way. So you could even, um, within the game, just do like a carpet pattern and have like a little bit interesting looking carpet without it being like um, all pointed one way. Yep, yep. So I think that's period or comma you can rotate. And what is it? I think it's control F gives you quarter tiles that you can then rotate as well. So, yeah. So if you wanted to do like, um, for example, if I wanted to do, um, like a, a pretend rug in the middle here that's not actually a rug. Um, control F and then you can um, something like that. You'd probably not want to use that, but you get the idea. I could even do like a solid color in the middle. Pretend that it's a, a runner rug. <sighs> Control F. Yep. Control F. I'm trying to... F oh, another one that I use a lot. Especially for... Um, plants or vases and stuff um, so if you have like a vase or something um, that you like but it won't go on top of a of a like a counter or something and you want to use it but you just wish it was bigger so it's like a little bit more visually appealing um, you can use the square bracket um, it scales it up and you can go like massive with these two like crazy big and then the other square bracket makes it go down oh what it used to be that you couldn't scale down further than the original object are you kidding me now you can make it teeny tiny that's amazing! Look at how little it is! It's the tiniest plant! Okay, that's cool. I didn't realize you could scale it up. But if you ever have, um, like, a s square brackets... Yeah, so let me type it in chat. Um, So they're like the parentheses, but they're not parentheses, if that makes sense. They're the actual like brackets. Um, I 
I think I think that's most of my the ones that I know that are yeah that's okay that's okay I don't mind typing it in and show you showing you exactly what I mean um so yeah those if you ever see uh sim lots with like um cars on them or trucks they do it with the um with the scaling key so where is that I know that they had I know that they had toys where are they do they take out the cars and the trucks sorry I can show you with the um the helicopter. I think they took out the cars and the trucks, you know. Um, so if you wanted to make it look like um, they had a helicopter, you just scale up the toy. I swore they had cars and trucks, though. I swear they did. There they are. So if you ever see a lot with like a truck parked in like a garage or something, um, this is what they do to make it look like the sim has a, has a vehicle. I could not figure out for the life of me where they were finding these cars and trucks in the game. So I finally, I finally figured it out with a scale up tool. Makes it sim look like they have vehicles. And it's fun for, um, commercial lots uh like stores or restaurants so you can make like a parking lot and like put some like fake cars and that i did that with one of my with my restaurants that i did um you can scale it down but i still think it takes up as much space as the original one does unfortunately but i'm not sure on that um, I'm about at the halfway mark, so I'm going to take a quick break, uh, refill my drink, and I'll be right back. And we might actually finish this house, maybe? Maybe not. But we'll see. We'll have fun. We'll have fun building. Be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere.
できた Okay, and I am back. I am back. And we are building this house in The Sims 4. Just trying to get all my windows back. So I can see chat and everything. I don't know why it goes away, but it does. <clears throat> Alright, so this is our house so far. Let's see. And yeah, so let's finish the upstairs bedrooms. Working on the kids' bedroom right now. Uh oh. Oops. I sneezed. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Tis the season, right? Um, so yeah, there's the kids' room. That's kind of fun. Let's see what we have for. Oh, that's a cool clock. I wish they had one with them. Um, like green or something, but apparently not. That's oh, fine. It kind of looks like a sun. It's cute. Um. Storage. All right, so I need maybe a dresser. Maybe not. I mean, I might not need a dresser. I guess. Um, let's do. Let's do a. I think they have small desks. Yes, they do. Oh no. There we go. Small desk and I guess I could just do Hmm Aesthetically I do not like that chair. Could be one with a little bit of I guess it works. Um, <clears throat> there's that. Hopefully, <clears throat> I know they have a backpack. I'm looking for the backpack. There it is. like a rug or something. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Um. I want it to be like a kid's rug, but I don't want it to be too... also too childish. That's... I don't want to remove the floor. Just the rug. Um... One of these would be okay. Way too big. Oh wait, I might be able to scale it down. Why won't it fit? still takes up the same amount of space that the other one did, unfortunately. That is gigantic. Um, okay. Maybe one of these. These are just flowers. Is this just a frog? Yes. That's not horrible. Um, and then we need some sort of light or something, not in the dark. to have like there we go there's that and then maybe a shelf on it. Let's see. Oh, school projects. Nice. Um, on a shelf.
What can go on a shelf? Nothing can go on a shelf. Nothing. All right, got a pony. Got a night light. That's pretty cool. Little robot. big um maybe an action figure green superhero yeah all right superheroes yeah no pony already got a pony superheroes and Bubbles. Oh, yeah. Superheroes and bubbles. Loving it. All right. Good stuff there. And then we've got a toddler room. Perfect. I guess we should now do the parents' room. I guess. All right, so let's do... A lot of greens. A lot of greens in this house. Let's continue the theme, I guess. Um, or maybe browns. Nice neutral color. neutral all right and then dresser let's use the new stuff if they have it right here That's not the same color at all. Can we get anything even close? Not really. Maybe...
I think I'm gonna need a change. That's not at all matching. Pink, no. Actually, kind of like those colors together. So, I totally forgot curtains after one of those curtains just wasn't working for me. So let's do... Why can't I do it there? Those fit, but the other thing doesn't fit. What is happening? It's not because of that. This thing? far how can I do the object up thing I think it's a move cheat guys aren't saying this. So if you move objects. Okay. Why, why won't it go? go there. It's not even the one I wanted. Actually, I might as well just use that one. Or, I could I don't really like that. 
Let's do... That children's wallpaper is cool. Thank you. I kind of like it. I forgot to save um, this entire time, so I think maybe after an hour and a half of work, that's probably a good idea. All right, there we go. I actually don't even know if they need this. Ah, they kind of do. All right, so there's that. Let's... Let's see what else we've got going on. Wow, those are huge. Super huge. Holy moly. Um, so I don't think we're gonna be able do those, but we might be able to do these ones. That's cute. Hey, Candela, welcome back. I think I might have the best choice. Maybe? Nah, I think those ones are the best. Alright, so then... Then what? Those are too big! What am I supposed to do for these under windows? Brown. I think those ones. Here we go. That's fun. And now maybe, um, that light and it's bothering me. So let's do maybe a standing lamp. Not sure if I like that.
Hopefully she goes, they can still get to that. I don't think so. Um, let's see. I like it better when I turn off the grid so I don't have the, uh... Oh, there's another pro tip. Um, if you hit the, uh... The G key, it turns on and off this grid. So you can see the floor tiles are not up to you. I like decorating without it on. cheating again. Shh. We would never cheat. I'm trying to decide whether or not I like it. Oh yeah, that one I knew of, yes. I turned off the grid too. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. All right, can I get away with this? I wish I could hang them evenly. Gotta have some pictures on the walls. Maybe... What should we put on the walls? Um... Lots of these. That's too dark. Hmm. 
That's like super girly. Super girly. Doesn't quite match. It's so hard to find good pictures at the smaller price points. Basically, all starter houses have the same, like, four pictures. we're gonna do that one this is a good step in the right direction though these ones I like these ones how they're all different but they're in the same vein so you can like group them together I just already use them downstairs maybe we can put something else in the walls it's not this, I just found a cat toy underneath my desk Like something you'd put on a. There we go. Right outside the kids' room. I actually kind of like that. Because it looks like it's like stuff for the kids. Like that. Paint them yourself. Oh, I wish. I do not have that kind of talent. in a variety of lights, I guess, is what we're gonna do. Light this plate up, place up like a Christmas tree. Looks all right. Um, what else should we put in here? Decorations. I do like clutter. Maybe an accent table. not quite the right color.
quite right either. Sort of close, but not quite. I think that one's closer. If not the right color. It's just slightly... these all along the same like palette idea that is supremely irritating I guess that works switch to white with like cream accents I guess I guess that works. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think we need so many lights in there. This is a little dark. Really? Can't put a light in front of there? It's kind of weird. This is a little dark, too. I think I'm gonna cheat slightly to light up that area a little bit more. Oh, 
That looks pretty good. Oh, right, they have to finish decking out this area. So, let's do um, I'm not sure if people can use that if I put it there though. I wish we had more small pictures. Too bad. I like that one. There we go. Master bedroom. Looks pretty good. Pretty happy with all that. Now let's see. Gotta get some toys for these guys. Candela. I 
and then unless you want to add it downstairs. I can actually do that. All the things. That is so cool, the jacket's hanging there. Yeah, isn't that? I, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, I also like the little boots. that. What else can I do to liven this place up a little bit? Maybe, maybe some curtains for the, let's see, I'm, I'm not sure where those jackets came from. Oh, they're base game. They're base game, so you don't have to have any of the expansions to have those. <clears throat> Sorry, but my food needs my attention dealing with fish and salads. All right, Miss Candela, you have a fantastic day. I'm about um, to uh, shut down my stream soon because I have to go to work. But um, yes, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. I think I'm going to do... Thanks again for the tips. I will try to remember them. No problem. If you ever forget, just ask me again and I'll uh, remind you. I'm not sure if I want drapes over these windows. I kind of feel like I don't. Actually, I do. I like that a lot. Blue has baseballs on it. We're not going to do that. Alright. Greens. This is like the greenhouse. Everything is green. <laughs> Bye, Miss Candela. I'm not 
sure what I would do for this one. I think we're going to leave it as is, but we probably should cover up these windows in the bathroom. Just at least slightly. Um... Those are way too tall. Um, nope. You know what? That actually, even though they're gigantic, that might work. And then we'll just... Move that slightly. There. That works. Now we can at least pretend that they have curtains they can pull. Yeah. Nice. No curtains in here, apparently. <laughs> the uh, child enjoys sunlight. We'll just pretend. We'll just pretend. Can I even do that? I mean, I can. I think we're going to delete those. Pull this bed out slightly. There we go. All right, I think, uh, I think we're gonna call that good. At least the inside. An adorable little family house. Nice. I'm pretty happy with the interior. So, um, maybe tomorrow when I stream, uh, we might do the outside. And then if I can finish off the outside, um, maybe during stream, we'll make a family to move in. Um, it'd be pretty exciting. Have all kinds of stuff going on. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sleepy today. I don't know why. Save and quit. Always save and quit. Um, so I had a really great time hanging out with you guys today, and I hope you had fun too. Um, I'm streaming again tomorrow, same time slot, so 12 to 2 Eastern time. Um, and hopefully, uh... Hopefully I can finish off this lot and get it uploaded to the gallery at the very least. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.